Hello, I'm Bob Weeks. A recent op-ed in the Kansas City Star talked about budget shortfalls and teacher layoffs in Kansas schools. The writer stated, The continued shrinkage of K-12 school funding in Kansas has led to budget shortfalls, teacher layoffs, and program cuts. Let's look at the data. Here's the Kansas State Department of Education, which has personnel reports. When opened in the Excel spreadsheet program, the data looks like this. And I've gathered these spreadsheets for several years and consolidated them in Tableau Public. You can use this interactive visualization at the Voice for Liberty at wichitaliberty.org. The data we're looking at is for certified personnel. And this is divided into two groups. There are teachers and then others. Besides teachers, certified personnel includes superintendents, principals, librarians, and nurses, for example. So what does the data tell us? Well, looking at all school districts, we can see that the number of these employees had been declining, but is now rising. Teachers are shown in blue, and the other line is all certified employees. If we look at ratios of these employees to the number of students, we see that for the entire state, the ratios had been rising, meaning that there were more students for each teacher and certified employee. But now the ratios are falling. By the way, a student-teacher ratio of 12.8 means there are 78 teachers for every 1,000 students. When that ratio rose to its highest value of 13.5, that meant 74 teachers instead of 78 for every 1,000 students. So these changes are relatively small. Also, the story is not the same for each school district. Here's Wichita. Its trend is similar to that of the state. Here's Kansas City. Their ratios have risen, which is opposite of the state's trend. For some of our other large school districts, here's Topeka, ratios are falling. In Lawrence, the ratios are falling. In Olathe, the ratios have been steady. In Shawnee Mission, the ratios are falling. And in Blue Valley, the student-teacher ratio is falling, while the certified employee-to-student ratio is steady. In South Central Kansas, the ratios in Derby are rising. In Goddard, they're falling and falling also in Mays and Andover. Remember, you can use this visualization yourself at the Voice for Liberty, wichitaliberty.org. So, when you hear complaints about large class sizes, remember that student-teacher ratio is not the same as average class size. The numbers show, however, that employment in Kansas schools is rising in both absolute numbers and ratios of employees to students, although it's not the same in all districts. By the way, if you're concerned about class size, I'd urge you to become familiar with the research. The Center for American Progress has a good wrap-up of this, and it concludes that class size reduction is very expensive and produces only modest benefits, if any. I'm Bob Weeks. You can learn more about this and other topics at The Voice for Liberty at wichitaliberty.org. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. Follow us on Google Plus and like us on Facebook too.